what we're going to have now is we'll have the family come forward uh, to give a statement. While you watch or listen to the following, please consider this. Everything you hear is a lie. She's not good with cameras, so we apologize. But we would just like for anybody that has any information. I don't remember a lot, but I did remember I was breaking up, you know, with the cops. But I know that if, if, if anybody's got anything, any, any places that I could have known anybody, if you know who you are. Please, find him, please. <laughs> It mean a lot. It mean everything to us. And this family ain't the same without family. That's for sure. They're Y'all, they're ready to go. It's been a little over two minutes. Oh, we, we had we had pictures of the baby too. They were done with the interview. The investigators, the phones that he would have to show y'all in the press. In the press. Uh, but, but if, I don't know if y'all can see this pictures, but this is the best I can do. He's only a month and a week Oh. There's other pictures with us together, but I didn't <laughs> crop, trying to crop him and do stuff with this phone is not working very well. But, yeah. but we sent him to the to the investigator. Hopefully, the press gets him. I pray that they do. So, that, so that they can have a good idea of what he looks like. How yeah. close we are to family. And how much we really appreciate him. Um, can you tell us what the last thing you guys remember? The last time you all were together. Saturday? Yeah, Saturday was the last time we were together. Saturday, Saturday night. Saturday night. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We were all together sleeping in the well, the baby with me and her in the bed and Toulouse in the other room. Because we usually, you know, we usually are together as a family, but. Yeah. Very easy. I don't, I don't remember much. Of, of. When did you all realize that you were they, they didn't. I was home with my oldest, my two year old, and he was with. CJ was with him. And. Uh, he went to go pay gas at the gas station and realized that he was gone. And he let the police know and me know that he was missing. No. No, I don't. I wish we did know. If we knew, he would have already went there. How's the rest of the family holding up? I know this is a tough ordeal, but... It's been taking a toll on everybody. Everybody's saying prayers. Everybody's keeping an eye out for them.
Again, the Montgomery County Sheriff's Office would like to thank the many agencies that have assisted us thus far in this investigation. The local FBI field office has uh, given help to us, uh, as well as Elmore County, Wetumpka PD, Montgomery Police Department, and a host of other agencies. Again, we would like any and all information uh, to be gathered, and we will investigate. Again, our non-emergency number is 832-4980, or you can contact Secret Witness or Central Alabama Crime Stoppers. Thank you. On Monday, the Montgomery County Sheriff's Office received a 911 call from the Circuit Circle K located on Watonka Highway. Uh, during that time, uh, we discovered that a missing child uh, had been reported uh, missing in the area. At this time, the Montgomery County Sheriff's Office would like to enlist the help of the general public uh, to come forward with any information that they may have. They can call us at our non-emergency number, 832-4980, or you can contact Secret Witness if you'd like to remain anonymous. Right now, I guess, where do things go next? If you're just looking for some kind of help, some kind of input, yes. if we can get you at the monitor. Uh, yeah. Uh, uh. At the current time, uh, the Montgomery County Sheriff's Office is investigating all the leads that we have. We're collecting video evidence uh, of the initial call area as well as the surrounding area. Right now, uh, we're asking the public's help uh, in gathering any other information that might be available. Uh, and again, you can contact us 24 hours a day at our non-emergency number, 832-4980. And, and when you say public, are there certain areas that, that uh, you're particular? Any, any and all. We're not uh, limiting our focus on one particular area. Uh, and again, the initial area of 231 North is what we concentrated on, but at the same time, we're investigating other areas as well. Is there um, any kind of like, vehicle description or anything that we should uh, no, ma'am, we don't have anything right now, uh, and that's where the public comes in. Uh, we'd like to, if you saw anything remotely or if anybody has spoken about this child missing, we'd like to uh, get, have C.J. return to his family. Video tape or gas station or something like that? Well, we have collected some video evidence. Uh, right now we're still in the preliminary phases of our investigation, so we're looking into that. Uh, we're carefully scrutinizing all the video footage uh, from the immediate area. Thank you, Captain. Thank you. Almost immediately after this interview, Caleb Wisnan led investigators to a shallow grave in a rural area where the body of his five-week-old son lay dead from blunt force trauma. He's now charged with capital murder. This playlist is called When They Lie. <laughs> <laughs> 